Welcome to this video where I'm going to be discussing a tactic with you that I used yesterday on yesterday's stream and I'm going to show you some results from that already. Let's get into it. Now, if you don't know by now, I don't know where you've been, but I'm working on a SaaS. I have been for two months, almost three months now. It's a Shopify automation tool. And yesterday I did some pretty interesting SEO work, which I think the wider community needs to see. Now, can you see my cat? Yes, you can. This is my cat, guys. This is my new cat. Well, I'm not new. I've had her for a year now. What are you doing? Okay, come say hi to everyone. Wave. Oh, you're so sweet. I mean, this is candy, guys. Okay, so without further candy do, let's uh, get into it. That was a terrible pun. Uh, it's your last chance to join the waitlist, by the way. Join waitlist here. It's $1 and then it's $99 for the first three months. That will be going very, very soon. So what am I talking about today? Well, some interesting updates have happened since I made these pages. If I go on SEO Grove, now most people would expect this to take a lot longer to take effect, but this is what I want to talk about today. Okay, there are certain keywords, and I'm going to show you how I found them, but there are certain keywords that have little to no competition and also a very, very high propensity to rank, right? And I'm going to show you that right now. So you probably, a page that I made yesterday, how many impressions do you think it's possible that it's got already? I'm just talking impressions, not clicks. I talk in impressions. If that bothers you, just leave the video because... I look at impressions. I'm going to press the 24 hour button. This is a new feature that Google added about eight months ago. Look at this. Bang. 728. This is like if this is like eight hours after I actually released the content, right? So let's just have a look at the content first. So if I go here, oops, uh, here. So this is the content that I made, right? And I'll just show you how I found the keyword as well very quickly. But I mean, just look at the impressions, 352 impressions on a brand new page. Candy. So I'm calling this Claude Code SEO. Let me just show you my exact process here, right? So I'll just do CD Grove SEO and then Claude C, just so you guys can actually see what I did yesterday. Oh, wait. What? Oh, sorry, I'm on. Uh on Windows, WSFSD Ubuntu, and then CD Grow SEO, and then Claude-C. Okay, so let's look at the actual prompt here. It's a very, very simple prompt. So first of all, I got my project onto my computer, right? And then I ran this prompt. It's super, super simple. Okay, so I'll show you the entire process here. First of all, I asked it to get the latest dev code, right? logged in, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And then literally all I said was, I want to get more people on this site through SEO. I want to just generally work on marketing a bit. I feel like we can hit some pain points with some front end content and also post some more content on the third party websites. Can you help me do this? Starting by giving more suggestions on the content. Here's some data from Search Console. So that's what I did first. Then what I did was I realized Ahrefs, obviously big tool that everyone uses, but it doesn't actually get results. It just shows you results, right? So what I thought was, why don't I just put Ahrefs alternative on Google ads um, tool and then click here, press copy, and then give them all that keywords and say, make me a page and follow my template. That's literally all I did, right? My template as in the, the template of uh, Grove SEO, which is a very carefully designed website, right? So that's actually all I did. And you can just keep doing that, right? So another one I did was um, Yoast. Shopify, right? Because obviously Yoast is primarily a WordPress tool. This is just logical SEO, right? This is where you need to know your niche and you need to know these things. That's where this comes in handy. Um, you can find these yourself, but like, you know, there are different ways to do this, etc., etc. Another thing I did, for example, was I just Googled Shopify SEO, um, grabbed one of the service pages, this one, and just gave it to Claude Code and said, make me this for my website, right? So these are all different methods that I used to do this, but it looks like this one here, Ahrefs Alternative, just absolutely smashed it. Now, I haven't actually seen something like this maybe ever, like in the first 24 hours to be smashing this hard. It's pretty crazy. Now look at these keywords as well. Some of these are really, really good. Sites like Ahrefs, all of these you'll see will be here, right? If I go back and do um, Ahrefs, well, 
alternatives. I guarantee that all these keywords will be right here. So similar to Ahrefs, right? S sites similar to Ahrefs. So I just gave it all of these. I said, make sure you hit all of these naturally throughout the article and bang, like it, <laughs> it made this entire thing. Now, if I can even get like, if I can convert 10% of this or even 1% of this uh, into clicks per day, that's uh, 90 clicks a month. And it will have a high propensity con to convert as well. And these are the kind of keywords that I'm really, really interested in. Now, this is a super simple process, right? You just need to find either, you, you need to find different ways to, or different content types, right? So I'll just show you the kind of things that it came up with um, because I think that these were actually super, super good suggestions. So if I go down a bit, I go down, go down, go down. Uh, a lot of these I have already, I just want new things. So look, this was actually its idea. Create alternatives to competitor. Instantly in my head, I thought Ahrefs. So I will credit Claude Code for the idea. Build programmatic SEO pages, competitor versus SEO growth for industry, really, really good. Target their brand names, something reviews, pricing, alternatives, sure. Uh, published to LinkedIn, blah, blah, blah. And I just kept coming up with more and more ideas. Uh, some of these were really, really good. Partner with theme developers is a good one. Uh, be first, yeah, news jacking SEO updates. Really, really good idea. Claude Code knows what the fuck it's talking about. You do not need to hire anyone anymore, guys. You can do everything yourselves. Um, this is how I do my organic SEO. I am planning on growing SEO Grove and actually getting customers through organic. It's a big part of my strategy. Obviously right now, all of the clicks that we get are um, branded. It's pretty normal for a new website, but eventually I do want to start getting some clicks on some of these keywords. Now this is gonna be difficult. It's gonna be a lot of work. I will probably need to build backlinks, etc. I am starting to post to Medium and other websites, but I need actual like traditional backlinking to happen as well. But just overall, this is such a good niche guerrilla marketing tactic that I thought everyone in the AI coding space would be interested in how to do this. If I just scroll down one more time, I asked it for some more ideas after it made that one and it came up uh, with some even better ideas, frankly. Like honestly, Claude code for ideas, like contextually in your code is fucking so powerful. Now, obviously, if you've got a Shopify website, it's slightly different. You can't just put your Shopify website here. As far as I know, anyway, maybe you can. But um, well, if you've got like a Next.js website, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, any like custom builds, right? You can just whack them here and say, give me ideas, right? Let's see. I did have some more ideas. Okay, yeah, here they are. So these are the final ideas that I found. So Dawn theme, SEO settings, sure, debut, debut theme. Debut? Debut. How the fuck? Whoa, what? Oh, it's debut. I don't actually have to listen, but it's debut, right? Yeah, debut. Yeah, my bad, guys. I'm slowly forgetting my own language. Um, yeah, why popular apps? This is a really good one. I really want to do some um, competitor jacking, uh, traffic jacking on really popular apps and be like the problem with Yoast, for example, or Judge.me or... I don't know, tiny, and then here's the solution kind of thing. And then, yeah, there's just some basic ones here. This one here I thought was amazing, moving from WooCommerce to Shopify without losing rankings. Such a good idea. Such a good idea. Uh, these ones are good too. Um, and yeah, just generally just really, really good ideas. Online stu store 2.0, you know, it makes it faster, et cetera, et cetera. I think I'll leave the video there, guys. But yeah, this is super interesting stuff. I'm starting to really get into this like guerrilla marketing uh, technique. I love it. Like um, just jumping onto traffic like this is so fun. Let me just see if any of the other pages. Yeah, look, there it is. Shopify, Yoast, SEO. Crazy. Where are we ranking? 89, right? Okay. We'll see how these do, guys. I'll keep you guys updated um, because, I mean, if I can get 100 customers a month into this tool, it's pretty well organic SEO shit is just going to go absolutely crazy and hopefully other people can follow what I'm doing here and apply it to themselves as well. Now, one more thing I want to mention is one thing I'm trying to do is to get onto AI overviews and the way I'm doing that is Parasite SEO. So I'm mainly using Medium, but I'm going to look at some other things soon. I am going to try and break through on Reddit. I know that I could have done it if I wasn't so arrogant in the way that I did it.
basically I called out the shop the R slash Shopify mods, called them all idiots because they kept deleting my post. And now every time I post there, they delete my post immediately. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little look at using, yeah, I'm not going to go into detail, but I'm going to try and get on Reddit basically for these things. Thanks for watching guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend and I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.